Let us have another example wherein the expression, the equation will be 2 over m minus 1 minus 7 over m plus 2 equals 1 fourth. And in this one, rational expression, there is a restriction that the value of m should not be equal to 1. And in this rational expression, the value of m should not be equal to negative 2. If we come up with these two values, then the answer will not be accepted because that answer will make this expression meaningless. So, in order to solve for this one, let us get the LCD and then multiply it to each term of the equation. The LCD, since they do not have a common factor, the LCD now will be the three denominators. So, 4 times m minus 1 times m plus 2. Multiply to the equation 2 over m minus 1 minus 7 over m plus 2 equals 1 over 4. By distributive property, we can divide this out and this one. So, the remaining LCD now will be 4 times m plus 2 times 2. So, we will have 8 times m plus 2. We can divide this out. So, with the remaining LCD now will only be 4 times m minus 1 times 7 minus 28 m minus 1 equals. We can divide this out. So, the remaining LCD will be the two binomials m minus 1 m plus 2. Now, distributive property, we will have 8m plus 16 minus 28m plus 28 equals, using the FOIL, m squared plus m minus 2. Combining like terms, we will have m squared, 8m minus 28m is negative 20m and then this will be positive 21m 16 plus 28 is 44 and this will be negative 46 the left side will be 0 by symmetric property m squared plus 21m minus 46 equals 0. Then, by factoring, we will have m minus 23 and m plus 2 equals 0. Let us check if my factors are correct. m times m is m squared. m times positive 2 is 2m. Negative 23 times m is negative 23m. Plus 2m is negative 21m. So therefore, the, my factors have a different sign. So we'll check this sign. This will be positive, And this must be negative. Then check it again. m times m is m squared. m times negative 2 is negative 2m. 23 times m is positive 23m. Plus negative 2m. Now it is positive 21m. 23 times negative 2 is negative 46. So, if my factors are correct, I can now use the zero product theorem. m plus 23 equals 0, therefore m equals negative 23. m minus 2 equals 0, therefore m is equal to positive 2. Let us check the restriction. The restriction is that it should not be a, neg it should not be a 1 or it should not be a negative 2. The two values of m is neither, uh, neither of them. So these are the solution set of the rational equation.